These are my true confessions of the grade 8 life. Throughout my life, I've been preppy Serena, always a cheerleader and always popular. Nerdy Serena, the bookworm, always dressing like a stereotypical nerd and devoted to my studies. And then I was normal for a while, but then that got boring. It was hard to be normal Serena because I didn't really know what who normal Serena was. Now, I'm goth Serena. Kind of hard though, because there's no good clothing in black anymore. They're not as fashionable. In my life, you'll meet Serena, my bestest friend in the world. And our new friend, George. One day, we picked Serena up. It was an interesting day, so I asked her how her day was, and this was her response. Uneventful. I knew something was up, though, because she was such a terrible liar. Maybe a week after the weirdness, this guy I have never seen in my whole entire life, George, comes to sit with us at lunch. And I had no clue what they were talking about. I was so lost. Last night? Last night? You know the thing that my parents made me do. I told you about that, didn't I? And I was so hurt that Serena did not tell me at all who this guy was. And one night she told me that. I have to tell you something. Really? Yeah. One night I was sleeping over at Nina's house. It was an interesting sleepover. We started, we were watching a movie on the couch, and then when it ended, she told me something. She told me her parents were vampires. Can you imagine that? Vampires? And that she had to choose two. And that those classes she went on Thursday night with George were really vampire classes. It was the most mind-blowing thing I have ever heard of. Can you imagine that? Wow. So she had to choose between me staying human and living in, and not seeing her parents in war or being a vampire and moving and never seeing me. I felt so bad for her. Can you imagine that? Choosing your best friend over your family or the other way around it was so hard. I can't imagine doing that. And you get to find out the story of what happened.